you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed. So they're arguing. Is there anything else I can look at? That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. It's down this way. Hey, Big B. Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? Nothing. All right, let's just go listen at the door if we can. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Oh, I can knock. <laughs> just walk in like we own the place. Locked. All right. Now yeah, can I kick it in? No. So our beast is going to storm out. Oh. What do you want? Well. You called expressing you someone else. around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Let me so kick the door, you and please. To talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Wow, he's Who not happy. It? Who's there? Step aside. Hey. Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, alright? Well, that worked. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. And so while they're in there talking, I can have a little snoopy snoop. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this beast. I, just I don't probably don't have much time, so I'm going to have to do this quickly. Look at the painting. Mm. Talk about living in the past. <laughs> There's the rose. Um, it was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. Anything else to look at? We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. Doesn't appear to be. We'll finish this later. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. <laughs> That's for a minute. I'm just gonna go knocking on the door anyway. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. No problem, man. No worries. Sorry, it's been a long night. I'm considerate like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. That's nice, that's all. What, what, you did, you, what say, did you call? Huh? Aren't you in debt? Did you come to give us decorating Just slap tips? it at him. I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this I'm something investigating. about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just I'm trying to do Don't waste my time. Us. Straight up, man. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. I don't know uh, if it's worth it. You might be next. You can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a All right, we'll protect them. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that... We had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... 
Is that Buddy Rose? Answer the phone. Or I'll answer it then. No problem. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out well, the machine will get it. Fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey. And I'm we not can't come yet. to the phone I right should... now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Oh, Jesus, really? That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. <laughs> I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. Pick up the phone. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. The crooked man's gonna get his ah, one fuck way this. or another. Shit. All I care about Misty. is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Spill it. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey. That's Clem as well from Walking Dead. She must be doing so both the voices. When I needed money. Toad's Kid and Beauty. Um, have you seen the Crooked Man? What's really going on there? Wait, who's Jersey? Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But hmm. never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Mary got the axe from there. Why would you ever go there? I only care about my... Sometimes yeah, Mary got the axe from there. Tables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Mm, Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You needed this work? You gotta Did you deliver to the I crooked man? What are you delivering? We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I want all the I answers, man. You. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. You do the it's dirty way. You want my help? Then quit. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No. Johan is the one who hands over the packages. You know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin. You know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there... I need to look into it. Mm -hmm. So I can say other things that would be more... Just wanted to provide for beauty. That would be mean, but, but I actually want to get deserves. some information too. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Probably not. Fuck off, yes! Fuck off. There are a 
lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I mean, you're a big dude, beast. I'm pretty sure you can take care of yourself. All right, so I can go to the butcher shop. I can go to the lucky pawn. I'm thinking the butcher shop. If I can run into Mary, that'd be great. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. Good. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the lucky pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you want? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Well, they asked me to say? kill someone. Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? I, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Wow, they flat out asked me to murder someone. No smoking. Stop smoking. Keep smoking. That's going to come into play. Uh, cold drinks. The fridges is what he was fixing. Nothing of interest there. Let's have a look at the price board. Let's grab a ticket. <laughs> huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. The meats are probably... Yeah. Very appetizing. They're all spoiled meats. Frozen solid. Who'd want to frozen. eat this? That's probably a hint. Um... Over there. Oh, it's another that, box. That's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. That anti green. Green leaves, yeah. Maybe I should have walked through and had a look at it. Big B Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? He's you hiding the box. In a particular cut? <coughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sir, where's wine, Bloody Mary? Straight up. Ribs. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Punch him. Punch him in the face. What you see is what you get. Just There's meet. a button there. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Mind really, if I look I around? If I find something, a, don't screw nothing. me. Here. You better stop fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. I can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real Damn, sorry. The button. Hold on, I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. He's bailing, man, get through there. Go. Exactly. Shit.
Ooh. Wonder if we're gonna run into the predator. Yeah, Big B. Coming to help you enough with this shit. Let's just talk with Johan. I've got a bit of a mess back here. Okay. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. He's still something. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. The hell, man? Where is he? I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Exactly. He's moving something. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. How you doing? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please Slam don't him. kill me. Shut the fuck up. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> Squeeze. <coughs> oh, am I going to pop his face off? <coughs> you. You. You're a monster. A fucking Look monster. at that man, like Why fingerprints in his this? head. I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even well, harder than this one. Out of this. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. You're a liar. And, and I don't want to know. You lied to me in the front. Why the fuck should I believe you now? Because it's the truth. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. So there's there something going on in there. Big B Wolf would. Shh. Let's open it up. Come on, come on, Q, 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 Q. W. What is this some kind of meth lab? Walter White back here. Tongue of Do. Ooh. Red button means run. So that's why I hit the button. Oh man, what is going on in here? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business is the best I've ever dealt had. With them. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? You didn't tell anyone. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. So I needed your not help. Clear. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. Yeah, I, I, he knows more than he's saying. I'm sure of it. Glamours. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. 
Alright. Let's look at these shackles. <clears throat> Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Oh man, it's a lot to look at. What's in the lab? Probably the magic. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Tongue of dog? A lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. What's these packages? That board's Maybe interesting. Maybe just don't touch any. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Yep. I want to know what you're talking about. Let's take a look at that. Is it? Aha. Mysterious jars. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Yeah. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials. Looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. Slave labor to work it. So what's this board? Well, these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this is bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker Crane knew all about it. Damn. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all, I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. He knows? What? That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah. Crying stuff solar like piece mirror is working. I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Well, I don't want to tell him that much information. Just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble. None of your business, Butcher. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The lucky pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! What? I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people? I didn't ruin anyone's life. You should've just stayed home. Don't play innocent with me, Butcher. You screwed with me up front. Don't cry foul, because you got it in the end. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I, mean, I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. As far as that goes, I'll help. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me.
I wonder if I'm going to run into the baker and the candlestick maker at some point. <laughs> Close for business. Alright, lucky point, here we go. Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My fucking Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you I'm, uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? Wow, he got a... Oh, damn. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. Ooh. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to tank me right, I'm going in. sunny attitude. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. He's kind of taking a liking to Woody. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Oh, man. Piece of shit. Restrain Jersey, restrain Woody. Jersey. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Punch him! You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? <laughs> oh, That's damn. It. Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't Well, there he is. He's a monster, man. This ain't gonna go like it went with Tweedledum. <laughs> you fucking on the pins, on the pins. Motherfucker. Again. Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Seriously? Now, dog, you got a lot of nerve. Oh. 